Good evening. The state television company Western Armenian presents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Cultural and natural heritage of Western Armenia, the ancient city of Mardin. Danger of avalanche in mountainous regions of Western Armenia. Karabakh is Armenian land or how the people united in February of 1988. 100 members of the US Congress called on the Biden administration to stand by the Artsakh Republic and Armenia. New books of Komitas Museum Institute, Wedding Songs and Komitas and His Heritage. Matanadaran senior researcher Arsen Hartsunyan's study, The Desert of the Apostle Anania or the Saint Zoravor Asfatazin Church has been published. Support to the state television company of Western Armenia. The founding of one of the most important settlements of many civilizations in its history, the city of Mardin in Western Armenia, began in before common area 4500. 6,500 years old Mardin is included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. Mardin has been one of the most important settlements of many civilizations throughout its history, being one of the cities under Armenian, Sumerian, Babylonian, Mitanni, Subari, Persian and Ottoman rule, Mardin is an important city in terms of cultural diversity. Reminiscent of a medieval city, Mardin is our presence in the UNESCO World Heritage List as a cultural landscape. We urge all those who want to see this fairy tale city in the territory of Western Armenia to visit it at the first opportunity. Due to the weather changes in recent days, the temperature has decreased and snowfall has occurred in significant parts of Western Armenia. The southeastern regions of Western Armenia were especially affected by the cold. Weather forecasters predict snow in the mentioned places and avalanche danger in the mountainous regions. Residents and drivers are urged to be careful. The Artsakh issue really united the Armenian people in the last century. Read about the emergence of the Karabakh movement and the atmosphere in Yerevan in February 1988 in the article of Sputnik Armenia columnist. Why did people go to the square of the state opera and ballet theater after Spendiadan in Yerevan before February 20, 1988? For fun. The children rode in wheelchairs and bicycles, the old people played backgammon and chess, the young people met at the monuments of our two great people and then went to their duties. On February 20, 1988, the square was renamed Freedom and began to live a life in which there was almost no place for children's bicycles, old backgammon and dating for lovers. On February 20, 1988, the first unauthorized rally in the history of Soviet Armenia took place in that square. The full version of the article is available on our website and Sputnik Armenia website. 100 members of the U.S. Congress call on the Biden administration to stand by the Artsakh Republic and Armenia. The letter to the Secretary of State and Minister of Defense underscores the severity of the regional crisis caused by the Azerbaijani-Turkish aggression last autumn and proposes immediate steps in several priority areas of U.S. policy. The congressman called for help to the people of Artsakh, which will allow them to rebuild their communities and return to their homes without fear. They urged the United States to participate in the search for a lasting regional settlement based on Artsakh's right to self-determination, to recognize the right of the people of Artsakh to self-determination as a legitimate negotiating party to the conflict. Deputies call on Joe Biden to recognize the genocide against the Armenians. On the occasion of Book Gifting Day on February 19, the Komitas Museum Institute presented the Wedding Songs and Komitas and His Heritage Yearbook. In a conversation with Armand Press, the head of the scientific department of the Museum Institute, Tatevik Shakhkulian, emphasized that the Museum Institute has been publishing books since the day of its foundation. We consider the yearbook, the fifth volume of which, Komitas and His Legacy, was published in 2020 to be a significant series. It is international. The authors of the articles are from Armenia as well as from various foreign organizations and honorary universities. Shah Kulian said, the volume includes materials presented at the International Conference on the 150th anniversary of Komitas at the Martin Luther University in Halle and Humboldt in Berlin. The book was published with the support of the RA Embassy in the Federal Republic of Germany, particularly with the support of Ambassador Ashot Sambatian. The work is dedicated to the once famous desert of the Apostle Saint Anania and the history and cultural heritage of Saint Zorabor Asfazazin Church, built in its place in 1693. For the first time, an attempt was made to complete the manuscripts copied in the School of Desert writing through bibliographic and lithographic sources, as well as archival documents, the history of Saint Zorabor Asfazazin Church, lithographs and inscriptions of church objects. The book is for source readers, historians and the people engaged in the history of Yerevan. 
Western Armenia TV does not broadcast private advertising, but there are currently almost 3 million deported Armenians of Western Armenia in Russia. Russia has been welcoming the Armenians of Western Armenia for several hundred years, and the relations between the two peoples are historic. However, it should be noted that Russia recognized the right of Armenians to self-determination in Western Armenia before independence by an official decree of December 29, 1917. We also share coats of arms with Russia that have their roots in Western Armenia. The two-headed eagle, which can be found in various ancient fortresses such as Tigranagert. In order to keep our compatriots living in Russia in touch with their homeland, Western Armenia TV has had a Russian language department since its establishment. Supporting the state television company of Western Armenia means allowing millions of Armenians to unite and share this deep-rooted sense of belonging. Now we present you Nare Yar by Maratuk and Sambal. Nare, 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 yar, im khoro dig me gujar. Nare, 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 yar, paro ho ve tang zo vasar. Nare, 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 yar, im khoro dig me gujar. Nare, 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 yar, paro ho ve tang zo vasar. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.